Hello, and thank you for tuning in to our series, Restoration of a Vintage Singer Sewing Machine, Model 15. This is the second video in a 10-part series, entitled, Clean and Polishing the Body. In this video we will show a couple of ways to do a basic cleaning of the body, free up all the moving parts, and a couple techniques to bring the paint back to like new condition. We hope it will be beneficial. Let's get started. Here's a list of the restoration videos. Assessing and identification. Clean and polishing the body. The thread tensioner. The thread take up lever and light. The bobbin assembly. The bobbin winder. The feed dogs, needle guide and the throat cover. Checking out the motor for bad wiring. Examining the wiring in the cabinet and the foot control. Demonstration, a video to show off our like new singer. I have removed the moving parts from the body so that it would be easier to service and clean. In this series of videos, I will start with the part on the machine, like the thread tensioner for example. I'll remove it, clean and polish, and then install so that you will see the disassembly process. The cleaning and servicing, and then reinstall. That way I can be very detailed about each step in the process. As you know from the first video, this machine is exceptionally clean. I simply wiped it down with window cleaner to remove the years of dust. As you can see, I love WD-40. Spray freely in every hole and open area, covering all moving parts. It's good to use an old towel under the machine. I've used catch pans underneath, but you have to wipe it out with a towel so why not use a towel in the first place. After the WD-40 has a chance to soak, start wiping all the moving parts in the side opening, the stitch control opening, and around the needle rod, and presser foot rod. We will be using wet or dry sandpaper, 1000 grit. This is a very light cutting sandpaper and will be safe to use on all the unpainted metal parts. Cut a strip about an inch wide, fold it in half long wise, spray WD-40 on the bars, loop the sandpaper around one and start pulling from side to side. I'm putting enough pressure to move the machine around. Depending how bad the rods look, this could take a while. Be sure to keep rinsing with WD-40, this will wash out the varnish that is built up. Remember they pass through the bushings. So if they are clean they will move freely and less drag on the motor. With the cover on, you can't see the bars, but they look great when you finish. This is a Model 201. It is a machine I have used for parts. As you know from the first video, our project machine is in above average condition. So the bars look pretty good. And will not take much to clean them. But the process is the same. No matter the condition. Here is an example of just how bad they can be. 
and we'll look for the results. This one has been setting out, and this is Rust. Notice the bars clean up like new. Okay, back to our project. Take a small screwdriver and scrape around the needle bar cover and bobbin cover. You can use the sandpaper carefully. You don't want to scratch the painted surface of the machine. By getting this clean and smooth, the cover will slide so much easier. The paint was exceptionally good on this machine, so it won't be hard to bring it back. Here is a couple of products you will need. Polishing compound. Choose a light to medium cleaner. And high quality auto leveling wax. I like the Auto Magic brand. It can be found at most auto body repair suppliers. The polishing compound can be found at most auto supply stores. Be sure not to rub too hard in the gold decals. It's easy to rub through the clear coat pan and damage them. The small areas are the hardest and will take more time than the flat surfaces. Let's go back to the parts machine. This is only to give you an idea of how well the paint will come back. This is isopropyl alcohol. 91%. Watch the decals fade away. I'll use the rubbing compound. Followed by wax. Great finish. See the reflection of the needle clamp. Let's try dishwashing soap. A little compound.
a little wax. Great shine. But what about the decals? So what do you do with a machine like this? You paint it. I wait until I have three to paint. The paint is expensive and you can't buy enough for just one machine. Back to our project. Here is an area that no one will see. But we're being thorough. I keep a small block of wood handy, to elevate the front of the machine. So the shuttle driver one hit, as I turn the wheel hub to make sure it moves freely. Here are the products we used. Rubbing compound, WD-40. A wire brush, available in most big box stores in the automotive department. Wet or dry sandpaper. An auto leveling wax, they can be found at most auto body repair suppliers. Dawn dish washing soap. And alcohol. Household items include a toothbrush, protective gloves, towels and soft cloth. An old t-shirt works great. This has been number 2 in the video series Restoring a Model 15. We hope that you've enjoyed, and we have provided you some ideas about restoring an old singer. This is only the beginning. At the posting time of this video we have, 8 more in production. To be the first to see the newest, make sure you subscribe. Click the button and hit the bell. Our next video number 3. We will remove the thread tensioner. Clean and service. And examine the parts for wear. Then reinstall in great detail. Thanks for watching.